Hi guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to show you this really cool house mod. It's called the Alchemist House. As you can see, it's quite a small house, but it's got a lot of detail and a lot of storage space and tools that are quite unique to the house. So this is where the house is located. It's located on an island just west of Riverwood. So let's take a look around the garden. You have a load of respawnable plants here with a beehive and a tree sap, a tree tap to get your sap. You have more respawnable plant nodes this side. Here you have a whole area of respawnable mushrooms, berries, different sort of wild flowers. So these are snowberries for example. And here you have vegetables, so you have your cabbages, gourds, and wheat. And along each side there is a storage area for these ingredients and vegetables. So, you also have a grindstone, a smelter, and a workbench. Along with sort of an archery area and a melee training area. The thing I like about this house is that at night it's quite lit up. It helps because they use these glowing spheres, which I believe are from the college, Winterhall College, I believe. So on this side you have a chest. I haven't tested it, but I believe it's non-respawning, so your stuff should be safe, but do test out if you do download this mod. You just have some tools here that you can use on your chopping block. You also have a blacksmith forge, and a tanning rack. So this is a not just a house for alchemists, but it's a, a good house all around. Now over here you have some respawnable fish nodes respawnable egg nodes and let's go in so this is the main room of the house as you can see it's well lit with lots of storage area so let's start on the right have uh, your big bed, your chests, your end tables, strong boxes, a decorative piece here, some more decorative pieces around the walls, a non bookshelf shelf. You can sort of use it like they have goblets on here, you can use it to store things. You have a wardrobe, you have a few more respawnable nodes. You have a cooking pot, a sort of storage area, you've got your sack and some barrels here, you have a chest here also, let's check the second floor, as you can see it's very well lit up, along the banisters here you have some display cases, some more storage shelves, some more here, a desk area, with a chest, some decorative pieces, a bookshelf full of hidden quest books, not quest books, sorry, level books, skill books. There's a few in there. You have a few respawnable nodes here, You're dotted around. You have a alchemy lab with a sachet. A arcane enchanter with a chest to keep all of your loot in. Now the thing about this house which makes it really different and unique is it has these planters along the tops of these shelves. These are respawnable 
and they are plants, ingredients. Each one is, I think, different, I believe, is mostly cotton, but there is a variety, and they do respawn. It's now outside, you have a seated area over here. Some more respawnable plants. And here. Let's go inside and check out the basement. Now the basement is where all of your weapons and armor storage is. But it does have storage for uh, quite a lot of storage for other things also. Start on the left you have a chest. Lots of weapon plaques. Another alchemy lab, a map, some more chests, a mannequin, where you can store everything. There are three mannequins, you could have a magic, melee, range mannequin, maybe. You have some bookshelves, which can be used. These are the only two bookshelves in this house that can be used. You have a storage area that you can use to store all of your ingredients and crops in. And you do have a bedroll also. So let's go back outside. This house mod is a really nice small mod for players that are not looking to drastically change their game and their playstyle, but just want something that's a little different, a bit unique, but not too game changing if they want to play legitly and not with too many mods. So I hope you've enjoyed this sort of walkthrough of this house. It's a really nice house, I recommend you get it. It's not my main house, but I do use it when I need to store stuff, and it's a good especially a good house that I will be coming back to to use occasionally. I'll leave the link in the description to the Steam Workshop where you can download this mod. And if there's any other mods you want me to take a look at or want me to install myself that you've played and you've tried and you like them, please do let me know because I'm always up for suggestions. So I hope to make more of these videos soon. I'm not sure when, but in the near future I should, yeah. So, I'll see you soon.